Hell moment, everybody. Thanks for being here. Um, Seb from the Accidentals. I'm gonna lead you guys in today's daily breather. We're just gonna take 10 minutes out of the day and take a deep breath and light a candle or two. And uh, we'll play a song. We'll find things to be grateful for and we'll post it in the comments. And at the very end, I'll recommend the book. So uh, we'll start out with lighting these two candles. Um, this first one goes to all the people on the front lines, of course, um, working in hospitals, small businesses, restaurants that are doing curbside. Um, anybody who is working to protect or serve people right now. I know I keep saying that, and I don't want that to lose its meaning because um, how we have coped as human beings during this time is truly tenacious, and it's something worth admiring and being grateful for. So this candle goes to all those tenacious workers. I'm going to light another one for people who are struggling with all of this. I mean, lots of people. Some people do fine, but... You know, there are lots of people who are either quarantining by themselves or quarantining separated from their families, and I'm thinking about you. You're essential, and what you're doing is just as worthy of praise as um, what anybody else is doing. You're staying home. You're keeping people safe, the immunocompromised, the immunosuppressed, the vulnerable. Uh, it's really amazing, so thank you for doing that. Thank you for being safe. Thank you for protecting others. It's not easy to turn the world into an empathetic thing overnight, and we are learning. Next, we're going to take a deep breath. So, we're going to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm going to count to three, and we'll breathe in. Three, two, one. I said I would count to three. I'm going to count down from three. Here we go. Three, two, one. And out. Feel free to keep doing that if that makes you happy. <laughs> if you uh, need a couple more breaths, that's okay. Um, today I'm grateful for studios. Just got this mug in the mail from Flora Recording and Playback Studios in Portland, Oregon. And um, that studio is owned and uh, led by a guy named Tucker Martin, who we absolutely love and adore. And we were slated to record the rest of our album with him uh, right as this really hit its peak. And so um, instead of flying to Portland, we went home. But I am thinking about him and his studio, and I'm thinking about all the studios right now who are struggling. Um, I know there were tons of artists who were recording albums, hopefully putting them out in October of 2020. I know there's still artists who are scheduled to do that. Um, and it's just a crazy time to try and finish recording. And uh, I have a lot of respect for people in studios who are making it happen right now. Um, and plus, after building a studio in my attic, I have a lot of deep appreciation that I'm not sure I truly had before. So i um, grateful for those people and for, for studios. Those are so cool. I'm going to play a song. It's a really special song to me. I debated for a long time whether or not to play it. Um, but I think music is meant to be shared, even if it's hard, um, even if it's honest. And I am going to play a song from my favorite album of all time. It's called Glow in the Dark by Patrick Carroll, who was a local musician in Michigan and, uh, he passed away a couple years ago, but before he did, he put out this record that I think is the best record that's ever been made. It's a testimony to sickness. It's a testimony to strength and weakness and helplessness, but also um, it's just um, honest. It's just an honest record, and um, I really love this song. I think it's good for this time. It's a song about patience. It's a song about restraint. And um, I think it's a song about having a destination at the end. It's called Chase It Anyway. Mm -hmm. 
There's always gonna be Something you cannot have Something that you need Six inches away than the other book for you guys when I was in high school I took an AP Lang class and um, started out great and from there I had a very hard time <laughs> um, I actually the first assignment we got was over the summer um, and it was this book we had to do an analysis of this book called Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott and uh, Katie brought this to my house I thought it was so funny because I had done a whole uh, essay on this, and it was the only essay I ever got a perfect score on, and it was laid on the projection um, in front of the entire class, and anonymously, thank the Lord, we analyzed it, uh, my essay on this book, and I never forgot the book because it was the first time I was able to look at something big picture and be able to write about a big picture, because that's what this book does. It gives you a sense of big picture about your own writing process. Um, it's a very interesting book. She's really funny, but she's also um, not shy about addressing, like, basically how to kickstart your writing, how to avoid the insecurities that come with it. And uh, I don't know, I just, I just love it. And so I thought it was so funny that this arrived at my house and I uh, thought I'd talk about it. I really loved it. It's a good book. Um, it's good for creativity. It's also good for leisure. Uh, so definitely check it out. It's called Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott. And that about wraps up today's Daily Breather. Um, I've got D&D tomorrow, so Katie will be doing tomorrow's Daily Breather. But I see a lot of familiar faces on here. Somebody asked what condenser mic I'm using. I'm using a Shure KSM44A microphone into a Behringer interface, like a little two channel four channel interface four channel interface so um yeah i love sure they're our sponsors and they have saved us many times so this microphone in particular is a shining light in this time for us thank you so much for being here and i'm sending lots of love to every single one of you um keep crushing it stay safe i'll see you tomorrow